Welcome to another episode of A1A Adventures. Today, it is not so good as far as my plants go. Now, one of you little suckers has been gnawing voraciously on our new banana plant. So this is the old banana plant. It is very big. This has been in here for over a year. Established a pretty good root system prior to them eating it off, as well as chewing off the top of all the lilies. I mean, it's pretty much gone. I think you are the culprit, sir. And in our last video that we have, which I'll leave the link in the description below, where we purchase these little banana plants to show you how easy they are to care for. Yeah, real easy when you got someone who just wants to eat them all the time. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. Uh, yes, you did. No, I didn't. I didn't do it. Yes, you did. Because look at that belly. That belly tells me that you will eat anything. And yes, I've seen you go near those plants. You are so big, it's ridiculous. It's embarrassing. I can't even bring you in public anymore because people are like, what do you feed that thing, children? And my good little garams over here, this garami, the dwarf garami, just hangs out and eats the little flakes. See, I'm trying to even eat the garami and you have no teeth, pathetic. But the little garami just hangs out all the time and doesn't bother anybody and just eats a little bit of flakes. When recently I have acquired pond pellets and introduced pond pellets to this one's diet. So I think when I'm not home, this thing just goes to town. Look at that stomach. Goes to town on these lilies here. But it's good because they will grow back their root foundation. They will re-root again back into the tank. And this little quarry cat is a little bit too small and just kind of nibbles everything around on the ground. Some extra debris, fish waste, leftover fish food. So definitely not, you know, a culprit in, or a suspect right now as far as who ate the banana plants. And we have a cool little bristlenose pleco back here. Turn the light on so you can see them a little better. Look at that face. How awesome is that? They have those little sensors and little feely. I forgot what they're called, but it's on its nose and it allows it to kind of smell food and feel around and everything too. But that one does not bother the plants, nor have I ever seen it, you know, suck on the plants or even go near it whatsoever. They just eat the algae pellets that I drop in there. This is absurd. A little backstory behind this goldfish was we actually won this at a carnival. This was a carnival goldfish. It was once all red, then turned to be an orange. Very, very similar to that tone right there of that aerator, but eventually just lost all of its color and went pale white. And that's when all this went down in here, when this fish just started eating everything. Thank goodness you don't have teeth and thank goodness, I mean, sometimes I'll see it swim around and then boom, a piece of gravel actually falls out of its mouth and just, that's it, eats anything. I mean, out of control. I'm sorry, I'm very sorry. Oh, pooping green, you're caught. That's vegetation, you stanker. I can't believe you did that. I really can't. Oh, I didn't though. But the proof is in the pudding because I will include a little bit of a clip from when it was perfectly fine the other day when we added these newer ones, which now are hanging out on the ground, which I'm gonna, I add plant minerals, which I have some good trace minerals that'll help them bounce back and hopefully sprout out again real soon and not just stay kind of dormant with only the roots and the bananas just hanging there. But that's their base of their whole structure, so it's pretty interesting. That's why they're called banana plants. But I just wanted to give a quick update since I just saw this, and this is actually pretty interesting because this has been untouched for an entire year. Grew so big in the corner of this tank. I was so proud of it until now it's floating, and today, I mean, this one just can't get enough to eat, apparently. It's ridiculous. I mean, ridiculous. Pout about my aquarium here. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Hit the notification bell button below so you stay in tune for all of our future aquatic videos and all these crazy things that always happen on a day-to-day -day basis when you own all these fish and have all these tanks. As always, stay adventurous. I'm Adam, and I'm out. A1A Adventures. And here are the old leaves. Rest in peace to them.
No worries. Hopefully they grow back soon.